I don't really recall that much about the Civil War these days. As far as I'm concerned, it all ended for me back at Salem Church in 1863. Anyways, got me more important things to care about now. My granddaughter got her birthday coming along real quick. And I got a vision of a beautiful house. A house so delightful. Why, I could even live in it. So it's been in the attic all this time? Ever since your daddy and I came to England in 1957, it's been up there in the attic making dust. Why, I almost clean forgot it was there. Only when old Tom fixed the generator he said it needed moving. Now it's just making dust sitting on my dining table. What am I supposed to do with it now? Well, you could live in it. Don't worry, Mum. I'll think of something. Anyway, I've got to go now. I've got an early start in the morning. Night, Mum. Good night, honey child. So it's 4 a.m. What's wrong? Oh, I'm so sorry. Look, I panicked. It was just a dream. You didn't call me at 4 a.m. to tell me about a dream. Should we meet for lunch? Same place? Uh, no, no, look. There's something I'd like you to. Have you. Have you ever investigated a doll's house? Hey, May. I hope you don't mind. I've invited my friend Dennis. Who's Dennis? He is one of the most honourable mediums I've ever had the pleasure of working with. I met him at one of the Mind, Body and Spirit Fairs last year. Wow, come through. Wow, the mess of Doll's house. It's spooking me out. It's like that dream I had, it was so real. It's like there's something in there just watching. Can you give me a hand with the equipment? You use the Ophidus. You've used this one before and you know what to do. I'll set up the spirit box. <gasps> It'll be Dennis. I'll get him. 
something up here. They're showing me a staircase. Who are you? You want me to come up? She wants me to go up the stairs. <laughs> Stay out of that room! <laughs> what is this? She wants us to go in here. Is this room? Come in, come in! She's saying there's a woman in this room. What's her name? What's your name, please? Your name? Your name, please. She's saying she's very lonely. Something about sisters. Are they your sisters? It's Elizabeth. Her name is Elizabeth. Witches. Salem. My mother told me this house was built in Salem, Massachusetts, sometime after the Civil War. Built by my great grandfather, Samuel Hollard. The Salem witch trials. They took place in 1693. That's almost 200 years before the house was built. So I don't think we can connect the problems you're having with the witch trials. But talking of witches, have you heard of Agnes Waterhouse? She was the last witch to be put to death in England. Colchester, I think. I'll take you to meet Winnie Waterhouse. She's a distant relative of Agnes. Maybe she could help. Winnie won't mind a surprise visitor, especially as I've not met her before. Well, since she doesn't own a phone, I hope she's still here. I know why you're here. I had a dream, you see. Or rather, I should say I was in a dream. I like to warm my hands by the fire. What do you mean All about... All your questions will be answered in the fullness of time. Winnie, where's the bathroom? Ah, now that's a question I can answer. There isn't one. I should have known. I've got a lovely vegetable stew brewing. Would you like to stay for dinner? That would be lovely, but I can't stay long, though. Amy tells me you're a distant relative of Agnes Waterhouse. Burnt to death she was, just like all the other poor, wretched souls. What were they? Mothers, sisters, midwives and healers. They knew how to work with Mother Nature. They knew how to unlock the secrets of plants and herbs. It just didn't sit well with the male bigoted ideology of the Christian faith. The fact that Jesus Christ was also a healer seems to be... What was that? There's a buzzard nesting not far from here. I often hear it with its prey. Oh my God, Amy, she's been gone ages. Come on. I knew it. Knew what? She's already here. Amy! What happened? What was that sound? Did you hear it? I can't remember how I got here. I can't move my legs. Come on, let's get you up on your feet. It's no good. I can't walk. What happened to you, Amy? I don't know. Give me a moment. Where's Winnie? How are we going to move you? Are you in any pain? 
No, I feel fine. In fact, the feeling I have right now is... Sue! Can you give me a hand? When are you going to tell me what's going on? It's too far to carry her. I have to make a fire. You want to talk to me about a doll's house? But how did you know about... There were once three sisters from Salem, Massachusetts. They were very happy. Completely inseparable. They were put to death during the witch hunt of 1693. Their family home was destroyed during the Battle of Salem Church 150 years later and they were left to wander the wasteland for many years. One of them took up residence in a doll's house but she feared the other two sisters could not find their way. But how do you know all this? I come from a very long line of witches. When my sister was executed for witchcraft, I fled to America, to Salem. Wait a minute. Sisters, Salem. Forgive me, Winnie. You're not making any sense. There's a heavy fog outside. Action. Ah, there it is. Ah, fuck's sake. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Scene 4H, take one. And Good night, Annie. Action. How can I remember all this? Rolling, sir, I only hope yeah, you lot have got a bloody no. good memory when you're 93, no, all of you. Mwah. Night, Mum. Yeah, 14, F take one. Okay. Action. What happened? What's that sound? Did you hear it? I don't know how I got here. I can't move my legs. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> and... I've got to do my legs on the hotel. Sat down. Four G, take one. 